as shown in figure a 70 kilogram garden roller is pushed with a force of a physical 200 newton at an angle of 30 degree with horizontal the normal reaction on the roller is given by okay so we have the roller right force of f of 200 newton is given to it at an angle of 30 degree with the with the horizontal right the normal reaction is being asked okay so first if we have to understand this inclined force we'll have to resolve it so see f is an inward coming force right with respect to this point it is an inward coming force and therefore both the components will also be coming inwards coming inwards so say if that was the other way around if it was an outgoing force like this then both the component of forces will also be emerging out right so here the main force f is inclining into the point of action and therefore both the components will also be inclining into it that's how we understand the uh, mechanism of drawing these components right now further what i'll do is this vector can be transplaced from this region over here which means which means maybe i should draw it one more time this is a vector f i have resolved into two components one is f5 which is a vertical component and the other is other is fx right so what i can do is i can i can take this fy and i can place it over here like this fx right transpositioning it okay or I can, what I can do is, otherwise what I can do is, I can also transposition fx from this po position to over here, right? And then we have this angle as 30 degree, okay? That's also what we can do. Now, let us go through this part, the resolution part. So what do we have here? We have triangle ABC, okay? We have triangle, what we have is, triangle ABC and this is a vector F have been resolved into two components one is the one is the vertical component and other is the other is actually like this other is the horizontal component but I have transposition the horizontal component into BC here which is FX so we have FY and FX 30 degree now tell me from this triangle triangle ABC what is sine 30 is equal to sine 30 is equal to opposite by hypotenuse what is opposite opposite to FY what is hypotenuse hypotenuse F so we have by F and therefore what is FY FY is equal to F into sine 30 right you say you have a doubt there we'll fix it vector force F resolve the two components FY and FX FY and FX FX is transposition and is kept here angle is 30 now you tell me what is cos 30 cos 30 is adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent is bc hypotenuse is ac so cos 30 is actually adjacent which is bc which is fx and hypotenuse which is ac which is f and therefore what is fx therefore fx is f into cos 30 so what is fy f sine 30 and what is fx f cos 30 right now if that concept is clear that concept is clear let us see the various forces acting on the okay maybe like this yeah okay let us see the various forces acting on the acting on the roller see we know that in this roller the primary force acting will be the force of force of without a doubt the primary force will be force of gravity and it will pull it towards it by a force equal to m into g which is the weight of the body right now since this weight is acting on the surface the surface is experiencing a force and by newton's third law of motion an equal and opposite force should be given to the object which is in which is in this case the roller and that reaction force is what we call as the normal reaction n so what is this case uh, this force this is normal reaction on the roller due to the surface okay so these are the two vertical forces acting on this now 
there is one additional force which is acting on it, which is actually Fy, right? So I, I'll I'll take this vector Fy, which I've drawn here, which I which I have represented like this here. Okay. So this vector Fy is actually drawn here outside the outside the sphere. It can be transpositioned. Therefore, I'll take Fy and I'll keep it in the free body diagram. Okay. So if you consider the free body diagram of this sphere, there are three vertical forces acting. One, the weight which is acting downwards. Two, Fy which is also acting downwards. Three, normal reaction on the roller due to the surface which is acting upwards. Okay. Now let's check the question if it is moving or if it is in equilibrium uh, with the force at the home reaction is okay. So there, since since there is no motion mentioned, we have to assume that we have to assume that sigma f y right, which is equal to m into a y, where a y is actually zero here. In which case sigma f y is m into zero, and therefore sigma f y is also equal to zero. If sigma f y is equal to zero, it means that the the forces in the vertical directions should be same. So, if I take this direction to be the positive, then I can say that n r s is equal to. Well, uh, since since there is no movement here, it doesn't matter if you take this as positive or negative. All you need to do is all the up. Okay, let me just write it down here. So, sum of sum of all f y upwards will be equal to sum of all forces in the y direction in the downward direction in the y axis along the downward direction so we have sum of forces along the y axis in the upward direction y axis in the upward direction only one force which is nrs is equal to f sum of all the forces along the y axis along the y axis acting in the downward direction acting in the downward direction there are only two so f y and m g now what is f y we do that to be f sin 30 so this is f sin 30 plus m g so mass of the roller is given to us as 70 so there is 70 into 10 f y is f sin 30 f is 200 sin 30 is 1 by 2 so it is 100 plus 700 therefore normal reaction on the roller due to the surface is 800 newtons